Hello everyone and welcome to another episode here of How to Build Your Character. My name is Kasanis and today we're going to be looking at something that many of you have asked me about. Uh, you are interested in creating objects that your character can hold or wear, etc. And that's actually a couple of different topics, uh, what they can wear and what they can hold. So today we're going to look at what they can hold. And when I say what they can hold, I am referring to the the 2D or the flat objects that we see in Minecraft. Things like a sword or an axe or an egg. Things like that. And they're very, very simple to do. It's very, very easy to do. And I'm going to show you how I do it right here. And I'm going to keep it as simple as possible um, using as few steps. Now, uh, it might be broken up. We're going to see how long this video is. I might have to break it up into two different parts, the modeling of it and the actual like, controls, because the controls are going to be fairly important for this too. It might not seem like it, but it's going to be. And we're also going to be really looking at the objects that are um, simple objects, like, like I said, a sword, an axe, a, an egg, a diamond, like that kind of thing. This technique I'm going to show you today will work on all of those things. It won't be the same for something like a bow. A bow is obviously going to be different because on a bow there's moving parts. So if you want to build a bow, that might have to be an entirely separate and individual uh, topic that we discuss. But for what I'm doing today, you're going to be able to take any of the 2D objects in, in Minecraft and build them using these techniques. Okay, so I think what we're going to work on, um, I've already got myself a sword and I've already got myself an axe, so I think what we will do today is a diamond because I think I think a diamond is a pretty popular uh, thing to have in animation. So we're going to look at diamonds today, all right? And what we're going to start off with is we're going to start off with a, a two-dimensional plane. I've got my Steve character in here and he's only in there so you guys can see the relative size. I'd recommend uh, having your Steve character in there in your in your file just so you can actually see how big your diamond is going to be or whatever you decide it's going to be. Um, I already know the size that I want my diamond to be so I'm going to create it right now. The first thing I'm going to do is go to create. It's I'm in the polygons menu and I'm going to go to create and I'm going to go to polygon primitives and I'm going to go across here to plane. We're going to build this on a flat plane and I'm gonna say boom to this little square boom I'm gonna click it now I'm gonna build um, a width of 8 and a height of 8 and I'm gonna have 16 divisions in both the width and the height now I've chosen 16 divisions in width and height simply because I know that the texture in Minecraft for the diamond is a 16 by 16 texture and by making the divisions in width and height the same as the dimensions of the texture I'm going to get one polygon face for every pixel I've got in that texture and that's gonna make cleaning it up afterwards really really easy so I'd recommend before you guys start building whatever you're gonna build to go in and find out the size of the texture that you're going to be using in Minecraft make sure you convert that texture from a PNG which is what they use in Minecraft to a JPEG or some other solid form I get asked this all the time, make sure it's a JPEG or some other solid form, otherwise you're going to have, it's going to look like you're, you're, uh, there's going to be some problems with the um, transparency of the object you create. And you're going to ask me why is my object transparent on one side and that kind of stuff and I'm just going to say it's because it's, it's not a JPEG. And I'm not going to answer it anymore, I'm just going to direct you to the FAQ which I put up recently so you guys can actually see the issue. So, But right now I'm going to make sure I stress, make sure it is a JPEG. Okay, enough lecturing. Okay, so I'm going to say create, and boom, I'm going to get a plane right here. And I'm going to immediately call this plane, I'm going to click on it, I'm going to go to my channel box, and I'm going to immediately rename this plane to diamond, because this is going to be my diamond right here. Okay, perfect. Now, in order for this to be a diamond, we have to apply the texture. And you guys have seen how to do this before, but we're going to look at it again right now. You're going to go to window you're going to go to rendering editors and you're going to say hyper shader and that's going to bring up a new window and this is my hyper shader window oh and I've already got one so I'm just going to remove this right now I'm going to remove all of this right now so you guys don't see it you guys never saw that okay I'm going to remove, remove all this uh, gone okay we're going to start over from scratch so you guys will see exactly how it's done currently we have no texture for our diamond and I'm going to build a Lambert texture just like this Bam, I've clicked on it, I've got a new Lambert in here, right there, and I'm going to immediately, pull this across so we can see, immediately change the name from Lambert 4 to Diamond Texture, bam, just like that. Now, I cannot lose this, I know, whoops, I just deleted it, I just lost it, awesome, uh, Diamond, <laughs> Diamond Texture, there, okay, Diamond Texture, that's what it's going to be called, it's been changed here as well. 
Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply our diamond texture that we got out of Minecraft. We've taken it, we've taken that texture, we've converted it to a JPEG, and I'm going to actually apply it now into this diamond texture Lambert. And to do so, really, really easy. You're going to go to your attribute editor. No object matches. Sorry, go to your make sure this is selected. Go to your attribute editor. Oh, closed it. Go to your attribute editor. <laughs> Make sure you find this, the color attribute right here, and you're going to click on the checkered box on the end, and that in turn is going to bring up a new window right here, create render node. Let's close this off, we don't need to see that right now. It's going to bring up this new window, create render node. Perfect, that's what we want to see. Now this is going to give you options on what you create. Now you can actually make a whole bunch of different things in here, a grid, a fractal, anything you really want, some cloudish kind of stuff. Uh, it, it'll make a whole bunch of different types, but we want to actually use a file because we have our JPEG file all set up. There we go. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into image name and we're going to locate within our folders, we're going to locate our diamond JPEG. Here's mine right here, diamond JPEG, and I'm going to say open. Bam. And it's going to change right here. Perfect. Now. There is a filter right here, and if you're going to render this out, I would immediately recommend changing this to off. That's going to only affect your rendering, but we're going to change it to off anyway. Okay? And once that is done, it's all set here. We're going to bring back up our hyper shader. Here's our hyper shader. We're going to click on our plane. Boom, just like that. We're going to locate our diamond texture. Here it is. And I'm going to hold down the right mouse button, and I'm going to say assign material to selection and it's going to show up on there. Now, mine came in nice and clear, which is fantastic, but yours is going to come in like this, because a lot of you guys don't have this set up yet. It's going to come in and it's going to look like it's going to look like this, and you're going to say, oh my god, it's all blurry, Kasanis, this can't be done, something's wrong with my, it's broken. And I'm going to say, no it's not, watch the FAQ, or watch this video, <laughs> and you're going to see how to fix it. Go into shading, Go into your hardware texturing, go into the little tiny box on the end, and change this to unfiltered, and then say apply. If you actually come in and it's blurry and you check and it already says unfiltered, just hit the apply button and it'll automatically become not blurry. Look how nice and crisp that is. Nice and crisp. Fantastic. Okay, so everyone's looking at this saying, well that's not a diamond, it's, it's, uh, it's got some white crap around it. And yes it does, that white crap is of course the JPEG background. But you can see right now the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that my diamond is about the size I want it, and I think that looks pretty good in comparison to Steve. I think my diamond is about the size I want to make it. Uh, I think so. I'm going to leave it that size for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Panels, and we're going to say Orthographic, Top, and we're going to take a look. We're going to find our diamond. We might be somewhere. might be over here, whatever. We're going to go across, find our diamond. And then we're going to remove all the excess material around this diamond, and do so really easy hold down the right mouse button, save face, and start selecting the faces that show up, and just delete them. Just like that, bam, it's gone. Okay, so I'm going to go around, I'm going to delete all the extra material around here, and uh, when I come back, I'm going to shut off the camera because I only have uh, 10 minutes with this free version of Bandicam. Um, I'm going to come back and it's going to be all cleaned up and we're going to discuss how to make this from a flat, see how it's right now, it's completely flat, from a flat object into a 3D object that we can use for Steve to hold. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay everyone, we are back and there is my nice clean diamond looking all sexy right there, nice and clean. The only problem with our diamond is it's currently a 2D object, meaning it only has two dimensions, a width and a height, and we want to give it a third dimension, a, uh, a depth or length or width or whatever the extra one is. We're going to actually give it a third dimension. We want this to be in 3D. Uh, the objects in Minecraft are also in 3D. They have a slight thickness to them. So we're going to add a thickness to our diamond right now. It's really, really easy to do. Uh, I'm looking at this diamond. It's about the size I like it. If you don't like the size of your diamond, now is the time, if you haven't already done so, to adjust the size using your scale, which is right here. Use your scale. Make sure this is in object mode. Use your scale to make sure your diamond is the size you want it to be, because it's going to be a little more difficult later on to change it, but change the size of it now if you can, okay, if you want to. I like the size of mine, I'm going to leave it exactly as it is. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go off here and make sure we're on pointer. Uh, we are going to select our diamond, and we're going to, with our right mouse button held down, we're going to select faces. Okay, and it's going to change it to a blue like this, a kind of blue, showing me that I can select all these individual faces. I'm going to select all of them just like that. 
Okay. Now we're going to add some thickness to this object using the extrude tool. And to do so, make sure you're in polygons. You're going to go to edit mesh, click. First thing to check, very first thing is make sure that this check mark under keep faces together is on. If it's empty, make sure you click it on. You want to make sure that all your faces are kept together. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to use the extrude tool right here. And you're going to click. And it's going to change to look like this. And you're going to get a new uh, a new manipulator right there. And you can drag this downwards just like that to give it some thickness. Now, the amount of thickness you choose completely up to you. Uh, I just eyeballed that and I dragged it down. So there we go. That's my thickness. Now, you can do it however you want. If you want to have your objects be unifo a uniform thickness, let's say you want all of your eggs or all of your swords or like everything to be uniform thickness, you can actually use in the attribute editor right here, I've got the attribute editor open, there is a local translate right here. You can just set this to some value. So let's say I change this to, it's currently at uh, 0.84, let's say I just change it to an even 0.6. That's going to give me a thickness to my object. And if I want to, I can make all my objects, all my eggs or whatever I'm creating, have the same thickness. 0.6. So for now, I'm going to leave it like that. I, you know, for my sword, my hatchet, I didn't bother. I just eyeballed it and I made it. Uh, it didn't really bother me at the time. So with that completed, we're going to right click, hold right click, and we're going to say object mode. And now our diamond, I'm clicking off of it, has a thickness, which is great. And you can see that on the top and on the bottom, the diamond texture has gone through and there's nothing invisible we do have this slight ugliness around the edges and that's because right now these faces are textured with whatever it's picking up along the edge and we don't want it to do that we want to actually make sure that the texture along the edges is also nice and neat and clean so our diamond looks fantastic okay so I think for my diamond for this I'm going to make these edges all the way around the same color as the edges around the uh, diamond itself so this kind of dark dark greenish bluish, I'm not really sure color that is, that, that kind of greenish blue right there. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go panels, and we're going to say orthographic side view. And when we do, actually I'm going to go front view, just because it's easier to see that way, or orthographic front. When I do, I can actually see right now, this is my diamond. I'm going to hold down my right mouse button, I'm going to say faces, and it's going to bring this up. I'm going to select these faces just like that, and go back into my 3D view. And you can see by doing so, I selected all the faces all the way around. Great, great, great. Now the next thing I want to do, actually, you know what? I'm going to do that in a second. I want to make sure I show you something first. So I'm just going to go back to object mode, click off of it. Nothing selected right now. The first thing I'm going to do, actually, is show you how we're going to change this. And we've already done this many, many times, but I'm going to show you again right now. Window, find your UV texture editor. Boom, it's going to bring up this new window, this UV texture editor. And uh, I'm going to move this over so I can actually see my diamond right there. Okay, I can still see my diamond. I'm going to select the diamond just like that, and it's going to actually fill this UV texture window. Great! And right away you guys are going to be like, oh my god, it looks so blurry, it looks so crappy, oh my god. Now, remember, just like the other thing with make sure the filter is turned off, there's three filters. There's the filter for rendering, there's the filter for the hardware texture, and there's the filter for the UV texture editor. The UV texture editor filter is located, I, if I remember correctly, under image. Display unfiltered. Just make sure that's clicked. Bam, and everything is going to be nice and neat and clean. Okay? Now, we can see, uh, if I actually, we can see right now that along here we can see these kind of white lines. Those white lines are the lines that match this guy right here. Okay? These white lines are showing exactly where it is, and that's why the texture matches. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into, I'm going to minimize this for now. I'm going to go into, just like I did a minute ago, orthographic front view. I'm going to hold down my right mouse button, select faces, and select all of these guys, just like that. Okay, and now I'm going to open back up my UV texture window, just like that. And those faces, you can see, there's kind of, it might be a little bit difficult to see in the video. Hopefully you can see it a little clearer on your actual Maya when you're working on this. Along this, there's like an, an orange line that goes all the way around, just like, and that's showing me the, the faces I've selected. And I don't actually want them to be along the edges. I just want to kind of maybe put them right inside here so they're all the same color blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Maya. I'm going to go back to my, my, uh, ortho, my um, uh, under panels, I'm under my perspective view. Back to my perspective, just like this. Oops, I screwed that up. Back to my perspective. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, under create UVs, I'm going to say planar mapping. And I want to map this from the... X or Z, you can choose. I'm going to choose the Z direction. Project. Well, you know what? I probably should do this individual. 
Let's see how this works out. Project. Okay. When I do, you can see I immediately got in there the diamond itself, and that's because if I take a look at my UV texture editor, it's now spread out over this entire area. Now, I don't want to be like that. What I want to do is shrink it down just like we did with the character. I'm going to shrink it, and I'm going to put it inside of here because I want my edge, you zoom in, I want my edge to be the same color blue all the way around. And it doesn't have to fit exactly. You know what? It doesn't really matter because this is actually a uniform color. So just like that. Now let's go take a look at Maya. In Maya now, I have a nice uniform edge to my diamond. You go object mode, just like that. Nice uniform edge to my diamond all the way around. That is the end of the modeling for the diamond. I've got a sexy image on this side, a sexy image on this side, and a nice thickness to the whole thing. That is our actual model right there. That's what I want a diamond to look like. So in the next part of the video, I'm going to do a part B. I'm going to teach you how to make a control for this diamond. And some of you are thinking, unnecessary. But you know what? It's going to be very necessary. So I really hope you guys watch part B. A lot of times I'll make these videos and people only watch part A and they're like, okay, good, done, I, I figured it out. Make sure you guys watch part B because part B is going to show you how to add this diamond to your character's hand. Okay, everyone, I will talk to you all in part B. If you guys haven't done so, make sure you guys take a minute and give me a like. Let me know if you like these videos. If I'm wasting my time, you know, I'll stop doing them. But if you guys like them, let me know with a big thumbs up. If you have any questions at all, please let me know in the comments because I really try really hard to get back to everyone who has questions. I do my best to help you guys out. I'm really trying to pass on my knowledge here, so hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys are getting what you need out of me. All right, and if you haven't done so, take a few seconds and subscribe. Okay, everybody, have yourselves a great day.